Scott Aries. First time ever here in GCW. Already getting a chance at my GCW middleweight title. That's funny. I've heard good things about this kid. Heard he's one of the top middleweights now in the Southeast. He's the, what, the uh, American Spartan? Well, I got news for you, son. This is not Sparta. This is GCW, where I'm the cream of the crop. Because see, part of the powers that be, part of the five-star fight club, we're all the cream of the crop. And it's not just because we're the best. It's not because we're champions. We're like a family. You might even say we're kind of like a brotherhood. What have we here? Ladies and gentlemen, he is escorted to ringside this evening by O'Malley. He is the current reigning and defending GCW middleweight champion from Boston, Massachusetts. Weighing in this evening at 166.71 pounds, Mr. O'Hagan. And ladies and gentlemen, he represents the powers that be, hashtag PTB. How about this? What a treat, what a treat. Maniac O'Malley along with Mr. O'Hagan. I love it. What we do in the PTB. And ladies and gentlemen, introducing his challenger from Mobile, Alabama. From Mobile, Alabama, winging at 170 pounds, please welcome the American Spartan, Scott Aries. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, this match laid in one ball, 30 minute time limit, the GCW Middleweight Championship, Scott Aries challenging Mr. O'Hagan. All right, let's talk about it for a minute right here. Scott Aries is gonna challenge Mr. O'Hagan for the middleweight title. But let's, let's go ahead and get on the elephant in the room. Ring it. Bell sounds and we are underway. Let's go ahead and get to the elephant in the room here. How about O'Malley coming out with O'Hagan? Long time no see. Kind of a brotherhood thing for a second That's here. what I'm saying. Long time global championship wrestling fans are gonna remember the name Maniac O'Malley. Glad to see O'Malley at ringside this evening with Mr. O'Hagan. Things like this is what happens when Bullet Bob bans me from ringside. Forced our hands. One of the first opportunities for me to really see Scott Aries up close. Glad to have him in the GCW ring right now. Of course, O'Hagan and Aries actually been going back and forth in various areas around the southeastern U.S. And Bullet Bob signed the match for the GCW Middleweight Championship. Aries able to challenge Mr. O'Hagan. Oh, of course, he's not afraid to throw uh, somebody at us to try and take some of the gold. But you know what? And so far, it's been unsuccessful. It will be unsuccessful again tonight. Thank you for joining us on our ITV product right here on YouTube as well as through GCWPro.com. Don't forget, you can while Blip TV is still active, you can catch classic episodes of Global Championship Wrestling's GCW TV, Blip.TV, and just search for GCW Pro Wrestling Global Championship Wrestling. Nice arm drag takeover by Scott Aries. Go ahead. And you might go ahead and just treat yourself and see the Brotherhood yes. during their reign as World Tag Team Champions. Exactly. Go ahead and catch up. Learn a little bit. O'Hagan's just warming up, loosening up. Oh, by the way, I have a message from the last show from Wicked Nemesis. He said, hi there, you suck. Okay. Yeah, who cares about Wicked Nemesis? He's a bum. <laughs> these guys having a lot of trouble finding work. These 
Aries tried for the double leg on that one. O'Hagan successfully defended. A lot of people don't know about the extensive MMA background that Mr. O'Hagan does have. Irish Jiu-Jitsu. Yes. It's dangerous. Not many people know it. Very few people trained it. Similar to, uh, similar to Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. I just messed that line all up. Sorry, kids. You totally, you totally did mess it up. Yes. It's similar, but much, much more dangerous. With a pine available before, during, and after. Yeah, because not just anybody can do Irish Jiu-Jitsu. See, I'm not afraid to say when I mess up. <laughs> yeah, I would hope not. And we do this all in one take, kids. There is no post-production. Hi, TJ. I, I would hope that you wouldn't be afraid to admit when you make a mistake. Nope. It's a frequent occasion, a current, however you want to say it. Roll through by O'Hagan. One. Nope. Nice side headlock by Aries. Yep. Better make it count. O'Hagan, a ring general. Yes, sir. And you'll quote me on that, I'm sure. Absolutely. One of the most decorated men in the history of global championship wrestling. I will drink to that. You'll drink to anything. I have a bottle of water over here on my table. Well, there you go. Drink a choice. Right, reversal by O'Hagan now. Side headlock in play. Aries, nope, tried to bring him up to see if he could get the side suplex. Did not work. I like how O'Hagan has slowed down Mr. Aries already. Taking that speed away, keeping him grounded. That's one of the things that these two have, is a solid ground game, a solid air assault. These two can come at you from any direction. And right now, both gentlemen actually, with the hammer lock in play. Well, Hagen used ah! the power. Hard to see. I'd like to see the television vantage point. I couldn't see it from this side, but I had a feeling O'Hagan was raking the eyes. I didn't see that at all. I saw Aries outpowered by a better man. Reversal. Now makes the standing switch into the wrist lock. Oh, he's just testing him out. Vegas just seeing what he has. Right there, he wasn't prepared for that, was he? Swing and a miss on the clothesline. Comes in quick kick by Aries. O'Hagan down and right back up. Aries sets, brings him over, snap suplex. I would like to encourage the referee to go back and see where, how low that kick was. From my vantage point, right to the midsection. Two, one. Now, you're gonna argue with the referee? Never. Field goal, three points, roll tide. I know, you're an Auburn fan. I was about to say, it's, it's getting close to that time of year. Isn't it, where as, I of the time, as of the time of this live event. Nice running knee to the midsection by Aries. Comes in, sets, brings him up. Nicely played. Hit him with everything you got. Comes in. Have any excuses. Doesn't hook the leg, but rope. overlaid the arm under the head. Nice touch by Aries. You know, Hagen's just going to keep powering his way out and run through this kid. Let him, let him, let him unload with everything he has. Bring it. Aries, poised like a cat, goes to the top rope, set, <laughs> kick straight to the chest. Oh, you think somebody may have uh, been playing a little game there? Oh, well, Hagen will play possum with the best of them. Rolls him over, hooks the leg, rolls back, count of one, count of two, no. He knows he has him where he wants him now. Stretch him out a little bit. Theoretically speaking, surfing USA. Now look at O'Malley parting some words of wisdom down there. And once again, there's that MMA background. Yes, it is. Locked up one arm, yanking back on the other. Which shoulder is going to give up first? I think Mr. O'Hagan's is just putting on a clinic right now. Hmm. Right to the side. That hurts. It does. For those who are inexperienced, that hurts, and that was out of meanness. Nice with the bridge set to no. Aries able to kick out. Yeah, I, I think I'd have just gone on and laid down for the three. Negative. There's gold on the line. Do championships. Yeah, save yourself some pain. Knee to the midsection by O'Hagan. Backs Aries up, sends him off the ropes, comes through, set, miss with the clothesline. Aries comes back through. Swing and. Comes back one, two, no. You're going to beat O'Hagan that fast. No way. Right there. Centrifugal force is a beautiful thing. That That is just the, the resilience of Iris Jiu-Jitsu. Look how he just comes up high. You can't hurt me. Short kick to the midsection comes through. Sets a oh, home base slide with a shin to the face. Hello. An attention getter, if you will. Two. 
again, if Aries were smart, he would just lay down and take the three. Now, I apologize. I said two when the ref hit one because I saw the hand go down, but he was bracing for the count on that one. That's why I thought he was up to the two count. So but Who cares? It doesn't matter because O'Hagan's going to pin this guy whenever he's ready to. Anyway. That may not be the fact. Uh, I, I feel when Hagan's done playing with him, he's going to put him away. Moan, moan. <laughs> Oh, hello. Two, no. My only question is, is O'Hagan going to pin him or is he going to submit him? How does he want to be? Both viable options for Mr. O'Hagan. Yes, they are. I think, he, I think he's putting on a little bit of a clinic for O'Malley. He's glad to have his buddy back. Aries, nice, nice return with the kicks. Butterfly up and over. Comes in, hooks the leg, could go for the upset too, no. Again, you're going to have to do a lot more damage to O'Hagan to put him away. You're not going to get him on something quick. You can catch somebody blinking. Not, uh, not O'Hagan. What happened there? I blinked. See? What? Seems to have hurt his knees. The referee needs to be in there to check him. I hope he's okay. I'm a little concerned here. Oh! Damn. Yeah, it looked like it looks like the knees hurt. I'm worried O'Malley about it. O'Malley paying dividends. What do you where? What? Oh come on. I'm concerned. I'm still the manager of record for O'Hagan. I'm concerned about his knee. And O'Malley, the escort this evening, now rolling Aries back into the ring. I'll Wait. give it to Aries to be able to get back in the ring, man. I'm telling you, this kid's a go-getter. Comes in, lays over one. Two for the win. Go no. Ah, that, that looked like a slow count. I said that was close to three to me. It was a two. Close enough to three, but I'll, I'll give Aries credit having the courage to crawl back in that ring like that. Need to the midsection by O'Hagan. Could be going for the Irish neck type. <laughs> Rolls him through. Thing. One, two, no. I'm not to complain about the count. O'Hagan's right. This is a slow count, out of position. He should be going home celebrating a victory right now. Aries, a little bit left in the tank. Surprising O'Hagan with that kick out. No, O'Hagan's about to make Aries pay. For the referee's incompetence, Aries is going to have to pay. Sets, clubbing for him to the upper back, make it to triple play. O'Hagan off the ropes. No! Nice snap power slam. One. Didn't follow up, and it was a handful of tights. I don't know if that was a snap power slam or not. It was a tug of the trunks. And look at this, O'Hagan fighting his way back up. The man is a fighter. He's not a quitter. Both men fighting their way no back good. up to a vertical base right now. Scott Aries back up to one knee. O'Hagan back up to one knee. O'Hagan back up to both feet. Yeah. Aries using the ropes. O'Hagan's just a man that stands up. O'Hagan tried for the swing, blocked by Aries. Caught him with the caught him with the, right to the midsection. Let's get in there and check those closed fists, ref. I want to complain about the officiating. And Aries racking off the forearm elbow shots. Comes through. Nice close line. Aries back up. Single leg drop kick. Caught him almost a leg lariat. Aries, spinning back kick to the midsection of Mr. O'Hagan, brings him in. O'Hagan with a reversal into the corner. O'Hagan sets, comes in. No! Flat of the foot to the face. Aries goes up to the second corner. Not a smart move. Bombs away! I don't think that's legal. But can he capitalize? Hooks the leg. One, two, he could have him. No! No, you're not going to beat O'Hagan like that. Again, the Irish Jiu-Jitsu training coming through right there. No, that was just good old-fashioned Irish tenacity by O'Hagan. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll lay that one out. I'll, I'll put that one to waste right now, Kaz. However you want to say it, the man's tough as nails. You're not going to beat him like he that. He may be taking a little bit too long. Looks like Scott Aries getting ready to go to the top. O'Malley stepping up onto the ring apron right now, and it just distracted Scott. What are you talking about? You see, the no. one thing you don't need to do in a championship match is turn your attention. Why was he going after O'Malley? O'Malley was pointing out the flaw. Caught him with the Irish necktie. Oh, oh. One, two for the win, three. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the fall of the match and still your GCW middleweight champion, 
Mr. O. Hagen. Let's all put our hands together and celebrate the champ. And roll that trash out of the ring. Back and forth, hard fought victory. I'll tell it like it is. Like him, don't like him, doesn't matter. He is one of the best, and he is the current and reigning and successfully defending GCW middleweight champion, Mr. O'Hagan. Wait a, wait a minute, wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's slow down, Let's slow down the celebration, Mr. O'Hagan. Now I'm going to go ahead and take a wild guess and say that you think that I forgot about everything that happened last month over here in Pell City, Pell City Alabama. Is that right? Is that right? It looks like it. Well, you see, Mike Cruz hasn't forgotten what happened last month here in Pell City, Alabama. And I know all these people didn't forget what happened last month in Pell City, Alabama. So I'm going to keep it short and sweet, O'Hagan. You see the human highlight reel, Mike Cruz is the real GCW middleweight champion. You know it, I know it, they know it. And don't think for one second that I forgot about what you did last month. I'm coming for you, I'm coming for that belt. And when I'm done with you, everyone in the audience is gonna know what you already know, that Mike Cruz is the only man in that locker room that's on a whole another level. This is the GCW middleweight title. And I a whole another level. And right there you can take three to a whole another level. Don't forget it. For another time, however, tonight, the winner of the fall of the match and still your GCW middleweight champion, Mr. O'Hagan.